looked at some of the psychological and physiological uh, aspects related to anxiety, in particular social anxiety. Communication competence, how competent people felt they were, uh, fear of negative evaluation, and I also had a lab um, portion where participants were brought in and they read scenarios and I measured their physiological responses. I learned that uh, competence played a key role. How competent someone felt they were or they were at communicating uh, was related to how anxious they were as well as their physiological responses. Um, Reagan and I looked at sand divers in St. John and we looked at the reaction distance to a human response and we approached them from above, like directly above and then front on so we got like on, dove down in their eye level and approached them and we categorized the difference from front and above and then we categorized them as small, medium and large, like the different class sizes and there was um, we could get closest to the large, and then the small, and then the medium. And, but we did not find a statistical difference between any of them. investigating a unique color morph of the Atlantic Slope crayfish. And this crayfish normally is this color brown, and there's only one stream that it's been seen where it is this bright color orange. And what I'm going to be looking at is trying to define the population size, the limits of its distribution, and collecting data on the stream conditions um, to try and figure out why there is this unique color that's never been seen anywhere else. One of the major roles they play within a freshwater stream is they process organic matter which eat, they will eat everything. They will eat anything and everything, and they are also eaten by many things. So they play a very important role within the food web. And a lot of times what a crayfish looks like, we say its morphology, determines where it lives. And so that's why morphology is important in this case from whether it's color, size, you know, some crayfish burrow and they have much larger claws. Um, crayfish that live in streams have much smaller claws because they don't have to dig as much. Um, and what's interesting is, especially because this crayfish has such a small range, all freshwater environments are under threat from climate change, acidification is a major one. In fact, this stream is quite acidic, we found. Um, human encroachment. And these habitats are rapidly being lost. And here's this unique organism that has not been studied in a threatened environment. And I feel it's important, I think, to understand what is driving the presence of this thing, what is making it this color, um, because how these creatures look often defines where they live. <laughs>